In today's video I'm going to be doing a comparison between a cheap budget stone, in this case uh, whetstone cutlery, to a Cerex. So you can know if you want to upgrade and get a more of a name brand stone or if a budget stone is good enough for you. A cheap off brand stone should be soaked at least 30 minutes. Uh, you can do a trial and error which works best for you, but I find if you don't soak it for at least 30 minutes, it gets it's very hard to uh, sharpen on it. It doesn't cut very well at all. The Cerex, however, you have to be careful with the soak time. I don't recommend any more than five minutes. I really like using like uh, two minutes or so. I find that works best for me. And there's a significant size difference between the Cerex and the cheap stone. And if you're doing something like a wide blade like this, it has to make constant contact across the entire width. It's really uh, helpful to have a wider stone so you don't slide off of it. So I'm going to be using first would be this cheaper stone. There's, because it doesn't uh, deburr very well, there's a bit of a trick to it. This, you don't even need to really worry about deburring too much for your standard blades unless you're wanting scary sharp blades. Alright, now let's do a uh, speed comparison on how fast this cuts compared to the uh, Cerex. For the deep burning technique, you kind of have to do with this. On your final stroke, go back, lift up slightly. This is to put the burr on the other side. Then you just bring it down nice and straight. You're going to be pushing at an angle just slightly to break the burr. And that's how you uh, the burr. It's really kind of tricky. It, the few things I don't like about the Cerex stone is the coloration of it because oxide jacking and whatnot, it gets rust spots if you don't very thoroughly clean it. And the Nagura stone they come with is quite frankly just garbage. Because it's snow white, it shows everything. And the ink they have on the sides. I don't even, it's so faded, I don't know if you can see it. After just a few uses, it will develop a purple haze. That's the dye they have infiltrating the stone and dispersing and coming off the stone. Why they don't use a better dye, because, you know, it's like having an expensive Apple product that you can brag about and the Apple logo falling off. It, it, it's not very smart from a branding perspective. 